Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technokers. In this video, we will talk about RDC 2 P2, which is a high speed quantum module for Mitsubishi IQR series. So, let's get started. So, basically, this uh, uh, card is for two channels. So, we'll, we have made a new project with R02 as my CPU. I will click on module information and add a new module. So, so this file we have rd 62 p2 here click ok click ok here double click on this module information here we get two channels channel 1 and channel 2 so the first uh, setting we have is pulse input mode so if you have like uh, 1024 ppr encoder so if you select this two phase and multiple of four so it will convert that 1024 pulses per rotation to 4096 pulses if you want 1024 to convert to 2046 then you will choose this option otherwise you use third option to get 1024 pulses per rotation so, so basically we are using two phase of the encoder one is a one is b so let's say we will use two phase for multiple here is the counting speed if you have high speed uh, input so you can select from here then you have counter type so that means if you want to use it as linear or a uh, ring counter so basically in ring counter when one rotation is complete it will reset to zero and then once again count the pulses and in the linear mode it will uh, keep on accumulating the pulses okay so you can choose any of the options as per your requirement so the counter uh, operation uh, mode let's say that we pass count mode and we have some or uh, other also like pulse machine mode and pwm output mode we we'll use pulse count mode then let's go to the application setting counter function let's enable this as sampling counting and response time for the function okay and then go to the refresh setting here use the module labels click yes check and okay so the setting part is done now let's move to the programming part go to the module function label on the function block we we'll use computer enable yes, we have it. okay so to enable the counter I'm using the one these are the okay. before this we also need to add the labels also label will not add it to add the model label from here once this is done we will get rd 62 p2 p dash 1 as your module label we are using channel 1 so one. then we will use the another function block which will count our pulses so let's say we will use sampling operation same here let's say m2 to enable the counting the module level is rd62 dash underscore 1 channel 1 Sampling time, let's say k10. Um, we have used k1 there, so that will be around 100 second k1. Or you can say k1 that will take this much. The sampling, the output of the pulsar, you will get from here. So you can say d0 as your counts. So this is in double word d0 and d1 will be utilized for this. And if you want to reset the value of the encoder at particular time or as position, you can also use the preset operation that will reset the value uh, to any, like say M3 is my reset command, reset pulses command. These are the system. Channel 1. The value you want to present. Let's suppose I am using the linear encoder and it's traveling from 0 to let's say uh, uh, 50,000 or 1 lakh pulses. 
at, at a particular position let's say if i have a sensor or something and i want to uh, set the value at that particular position so i will just enter the value when the m3 will uh, be true in that case the encoder value which we have here d0 will reset to 0 if i use 100 here it will reset to 100 okay so this is how you can uh, interface with the encoder using this function blocks so this is all this video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you